July 1st, 2025. Astronomers believed Comet 3i slash Atlas would barely glance past Mars, nothing more than a fast-moving cosmic visitor. But this week, NASA and Harvard's Avi Loeb warned the numbers have changed. Atlas isn't just accelerating at a record-breaking 87 kilometers per second. Its gas tail pulses every 17 minutes, and strange metallic flashes hint at something artificial, perhaps even maneuvering. For the first time, experts admit a direct hit on Mars is now possible, with enough power to erase any trace of civilization. If it collides, millions of nuclear bombs worth of energy will be unleashed, threatening orbiting spacecraft and maybe even Earth itself. How did humanity's first interstellar encounter become a planetary crisis? The first confirmed sighting of 3 slash atlas came just after midnight on July 1st, 2025, when the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile flagged an object moving at nearly 87 kilometers per second, faster than any comet or asteroid previously recorded in the solar system. The initial readings placed its path well outside the Martian danger zone, with a projected missed distance hovering near 1.95 million kilometers. For most astronomers, these numbers offered reassurance. Here was an interstellar traveler, the third ever observed, set to pass by Mars at a distance five times greater than that between Earth and the Moon. Atlas team members, along with colleagues at the Zwicky Transient Facility and PanStars, raced to gather more data. Early astrometric measurements, refined by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and cross-checked against the Minor Planet Center's global archives, painted a picture of a hyperbolic escape trajectory. The object was not bound to the sun, it would slice through the solar system and vanish, much like Oumuamua and Borisov before it. Yet even in these first hours, the numbers raised eyebrows. At 87 kilometers per second, 3i slash Atlas would travel from New York to Los Angeles in under a minute. Its brightness fluctuated in a way that suggested a substantial core, perhaps several kilometers across, though uncertainties in albedo and distance kept size estimates broad. The Atlas team's discovery triggered a surge of follow-up observations worldwide, with telescopes from Hawaii to the Canary Islands joining the campaign. NASA's JPL analysts quickly published preliminary orbit solutions, showing the object on a clean, outbound arc. No non-gravitational accelerations, those subtle nudges from jets of gas or dust were detected above the noise threshold. The official statements emphasized that all models predicted a harmless flyby. Harvard's Avi Loeb and his group, though intrigued by the object's speed and origin, found no reason in the data to sound any alarms. In those first days, 3i slash Atlas was simply a rare, fast-moving visitor, remarkable for its velocity, but not for its threat. The world's attention drifted elsewhere, leaving only a handful of astronomers to keep watch as the data quietly accumulated. Gemini South's spectrograph locked onto 3 Mao slash Atlas just as the object entered the southern sky, revealing a pattern that no one could explain away as mere coincidence. Every 17 minutes, the tail flared with a burst of gas, precise, unwavering, and utterly unlike the chaotic venting seen in typical comets. Over the course of several nights, this rhythm persisted, as if the object were keeping time with an invisible clock. The regularity was so striking that Harvard's Avi Loeb and his analysis team began to question whether natural processes could account for such a mechanism. Time-resolved spectra showed each pulse was accompanied by faint, transient emissions, brief flashes in the visible and near-infrared, then silence. The periodicity was exact to within seconds. Natural cometary jets, driven by solar heating, produce irregular outbursts, not metronomic sequences. Yet here, the bursts repeated with such discipline that even the most skeptical astronomers found themselves recalculating, hunting for overlooked sources of error. As the campaign intensified, Mars Express captured a sequence of images from high orbit. On three consecutive passes, the spacecraft detected sharp, triangular glints, stationary against the Martian sky, separated by nearly identical angles. These reflections, appearing and vanishing in sync with the tail's outbursts, hinted at surfaces far more reflective than dust or ice. 
When compared against known cometary materials, the spectral slope pointed toward metal, perhaps nickel or iron, but with an unnatural polish. The possibility of metallic fragments orbiting in formation, visible only at certain viewing angles, added a new layer of intrigue. Gemini's spectrographs, meanwhile, recorded a spectral signature that defied easy classification. The tail's emissions lacked the classic fingerprints of cyanogen or diatomic carbon, instead showing a smooth, red-leaning continuum interrupted by momentary spikes. These features, though faint, recurred with each pulse, suggesting a process more deliberate than random solar-driven venting. Loeb's group, cautious but captivated, assembled the mounting evidence, precise clockwork outgassing, metallic spectral hints, and reflective glints in Mars orbit. Each fact alone could be dismissed as anomaly or artifact. Together, they forced a reconsideration. The idea that 3i slash Atlas might be steering itself, using controlled gas ejection to adjust its course, no longer sounded like science fiction. The benign flyby, once taken for granted, now seemed less certain. If these pulses truly represented propulsion, then every burst could be a maneuver, narrowing the gap between the comet and Mars with each passing cycle. The world's telescopes turned their attention back to 3i slash Atlas, and the question hanging over every observatory was no longer how close it would pass, but whether someone or something was guiding it. By September 2025, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory's Navigation Center was updating the orbit models of 3ii slash Atlas almost hourly. Each new data point from ground and space telescopes recalibrated the risk, narrowing the margin for error as the object's path crept closer to Mars. The latest JPL bulletin, issued September 14th, reduced the projected miss distance to under 50,000 kilometers, a figure that cut straight through the comfort zone of planetary defense planners. Emergency coordination lines linked Pasadena, Darmstadt, Beijing, and Tokyo. The European Space Agency's crisis response team, working with CNSA and JAXA liaisons, convened virtual roundtables to map out every plausible scenario. With Mars's robotic fleet at stake and the possibility of debris threatening Earth in the long term, the conversation shifted from passive observation to active intervention. Two main deflection strategies dominated the debate. The kinetic impactor model, championed by JPL's planetary defense engineers, proposed launching a high-speed projectile to nudge the object's trajectory just enough to guarantee a miss. But at 87 kilometers per second, the margin for success was razor thin. Any impactor would need to intercept at interplanetary velocities, with guidance systems operating beyond the limits of current technology. The alternative, a gravity tractor mission, required dispatching a massive spacecraft to fly alongside 3i slash Atlas, using its own gravitational pull to subtly alter the course over weeks or months. That option demanded immediate launch and flawless navigation, with no precedent for success at such speeds or distances. As agencies weighed the technical and political risks, contingency plans multiplied. Asset evacuation protocols for Mars orbiters, data dump commands for surface rovers, and classified discussions around last resort nuclear options. Every hour, the window for effective action narrowed. In the background, a sense of procedural urgency permeated the global response, as if the clock itself were being set by the object's relentless approach. A direct strike by 3i slash Atlas would unleash more than 2 million megatons of energy, roughly the output of every nuclear weapon ever built, detonated at once. The force would gouge a crater 60 kilometers wide and five deep into the Martian crust, vaporizing rock, dust, and any trace of the planet's robotic explorers. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, Perseverance, and every satellite circling the Red Planet would be lost in a single, blinding moment. The debris cloud, propelled by velocities exceeding 57 kilometers per second, could escape Mars's gravity entirely, scattering fragments into interplanetary space. Some models predict that within a decade, a fraction of this ejecta might cross Earth's orbit, carrying with it unknown minerals, or perhaps something engineered. Inside NASA's teleconferences, 
the mood alternates between technical rigor and existential dread. Freedom of Information Act requests have surfaced internal memos, some clinical, others bordering on philosophical. One reads, Impact energy estimates remain catastrophic. Recommend immediate data transmission from all Mars assets. Yet the risk is not only physical. The debate over 3i slash Atlas's origin is splitting the scientific community. Avi Loeb insists that the clockwork tail pulses and metallic signatures betray a probe, a device built to observe, steer, and perhaps deliver a message. Across the table, planetary scientist Dr. Lucia Martinez cautions against leaping to conclusions. She points to rare but natural cometary behaviors, warning that extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence. Each new observation fuels the divide. If Loeb is right, humanity faces its first encounter with alien engineering. If Martinez prevails, the cosmos remains silent, but no less dangerous. The answer, for now, is lost in the noise of data and the ticking clock of a possible impact. On July 1, 2025, astronomers first detected 3i slash Atlas, an interstellar object moving at 87 kilometers per second. Initial projections showed a safe 1.95 million kilometer pass by Mars. But by September, data from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and Harvard's Avi Loeb team confirmed an unpredictable trajectory and 17-minute bursts of activity, raising unprecedented alarms. Despite analysis from the Gemini South Telescope, Mars Express, and dozens of Earth-based observatories, the cause of these regular pulses and metallic signatures remains unconfirmed. Current international response plans, documented by JPL and ESA, show active coordination for a possible collision with impact estimates reaching 2 million megatons and a 60-kilometer crater on Mars. Yet the true nature of 3 demi slash atlas whether natural or artificial, remains unresolved. As of today, the world's leading space agencies are racing to refine predictions and prepare defenses, while key findings and classified data continue to shape the debate. The story of 3 and I slash Atlas is still unfolding, marked by extraordinary facts and unanswered questions.